All right, so this is one of our three inch pro kits. All right, I wanna go through this right now because it's easy to do it right now. So we have a leaf filter. We got, a, this is a two by three leaf filter. And then we have our French Drain Man's not quite a 90. This really isn't a 90, guys. We already have the slope figured in. So this is really cool what we did here. It's closest to a 90, but we did tamper with it. And we have a higher flow rate and our pipe is automatically pitched. This is the perfect example of why we made the three inch plus kit and while we've gone to three inch pipe for everything when it comes to downspouts. We're under a sprinkler here, we're over a sprinkler here, and we're under a sprinkler there. We didn't have to cut the sprinkler system. We didn't have to molest a brand new sprinkler system. Now this is four inch pipe. You can see the difference. Now, if we were gonna to try to get that pipe in this trench, we are gonna to have to cut all three of those lines. Now, this is for the leaf filter. We got a riser. You cut this to fit. We've already cut this. This will come, you'll have 12 inches. You go ahead and you cut this down to fit, and you put your leaf filter in this. You go ahead and you put, in this kit, we'll have a three inch coupler on this fitting so that you can get from the four inch 90 to a three inch corrugated pipe. This is a lot easier to get a garden hose through. This three inch pro kit, it takes a little bit more to adjust this and to dial this in. We're making a lot of videos showing people how to do that. But for the homeowners, we have an easy kit 10, and this is more for the contractors or the DIYers that are next level. They know they're not a level one. This is like a level three install. I'm gonna show you everything that's in the three inch pro. We got one of our catch basins that holds a gallon of sediment. We have our offset in our three inch pro. Only our three inch pro pipe will fit this offset. We made it for a higher flow. A leaf filter, color of the choice. In this case, it'd be white and a two by three. Beautiful kit, gives you a lot of flexibility, gives you a lot of adjustment. It's everything that the pros ask for. So we got 25 feet in this kit. I like to get the drains far away from the house. I preach, get them 20 feet away from the house. So you got plenty of pipe to work with. You're looking at around 24, 25 feet comes with this kit. We come down to the catch basin. The catch basin has a offset coupler. You can see we have a three inch offset. You can spin this to where you're shallower. So if this fitting was turned upside down from where it is now, the pipe could be shallower. If you're a little bit deeper, you spin the offset this way, and you can see we're set for a little bit deeper depth. So we allowed for more adjustment. We wanted to allow more freedom when you're sloping your pipe to get everything just perfect. Normally we'd put our catch basin right here, but that sprinkler line is exactly where we wanted to put the catch basin. No big deal. We put it just a little further downstream. We're going with a turf restrictor plate in the solid green. You can see we got the solid cap, so mosquitoes can't breed inside that catch basin. We're gonna drill some little holes underneath. The catch basin has, you can see guides for a drill bit, so you can just drill some real small holes. You want those holes to be really small so that you don't lose a lot of bulk water. Once the rain is over, whatever's left in that basin can slowly leach into the subsoil. The men are gonna put a pocket of stone under there, they're gonna put some fabric down, and then lay some pea stone on the fabric, and then put the catch basin back in place. Right here, you can see the drain fabric. This is over dug. This hole is oversized. The men put drain fabric down and then put a layer of pea gravel. Set the catch basin on the pea stone. That way the holes that are drilled in the bottom of the catch basin can leach into that pea gravel and then the water comes in contact with more area 
and then it'll leach away into the subsurface soil. We have an adjustable. This is the French Drain Man's Not Quite a 90 with the adjustable swivel fitting. So if your pipe is shallow, you can come in shallow. If your pipe's a little deeper, you can swivel it down. It's really nice, you do not want to tape this. This is where, when the water is done after a thunderstorm, when the bulk water is done being moved, what's ever left in this pop-up will leach into the subsoil if you just put some pea stone underneath this fitting. Do not drill holes in this. You don't have to do that. Don't hurt the integrity of this part. It's beautiful. It's our French Dream Man's not quite a 90. We took a few degrees out of it so that we get a lot higher flow rate, a lot higher performance in our drainage systems. We don't tape this, and we don't tape this right at the fitting. The French Drain Man's not quite a 90 fitting. We don't tape that. We let those leak out. Now we got a bunch of drain stone. And in the pop-up, this is slightly ramped so that all the debris just comes out. It's a self-cleaning pop-up, it's the first of its kind. A lot higher flow rate. It's the only pop-up you can get your hand down in. So the guys, they put drainage stone underneath where the pop-up fitting connects to the three inch pipe. No tape. That's where you're gonna leach all the water away after the system's done running. You're gonna re remove all the bulk water during the storm. The guys did a beautiful job. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about this installation, leave them in the comment section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until that next video.